Good day, everybody. This is Blackheart6. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to start a new subject. Uh, we pretty much completed our tasks, uh, the layer tasks. Um, but there's this new feature available in 1.2.1. Uh, it's called the debug menu. Um, it's a, a new thing you can use. It's a tool. I don't want to get uh, too far ahead in the wiki uh, and not start to cover this. There will be multiple videos on this because I myself have not even used this system yet. But it looks pretty powerful to me. So um, I, that's why I want to get this out. Maybe some people out there that's already used this extensively. Uh, but uh, it looks like a great tool that will help solve a lot of problems within your scenario building. So um, it says here debug menu. The scenario framework gives you an extensive debug menu suite that allows you to inspect activate further debug lines in a script editor and depending on what you're debugging there are runtime options to manipulate with as much of this scenario framework okay to in order for it to work you need to enable the debug in the debug menu first go to category systems systems diag and enable it to basic okay i'll be honest with you they need to do a step by step here for folks because this doesn't get it and I had to go and ask ETH about it uh, to get this to open and figure it out okay so first off uh, the very first thing you want to do um, is go to this web page this is a wiki and look for armor reforger diag menu and you should be able to get to here once you get to here I'll put this link in the in the video um, this here is probably about the most important thing you're going to need right now. This one, um, obviously, there is a lot to this page. Um, but this gives you a lot of information about other things uh, outside of the framework. I'm not dealing with those things. I'm only dealing with, with the framework. So, But here is how you get to this Diag menu that they are talking about right here. Okay. So uh, there's no information here on how to open this. So uh, what you need to do is let's go to our world editor. The first thing you need to do is once you're in your scenario is press play. You, have, you should be inside the game mode to do this. And you will have to do this every time. Uh, it, does not, it does not persist, uh, unfortunately. Okay, so once you're in your game mode, the way you get to that uh, menu system, so let's go back to our, so the way you get to this Diag menu is, um, you can, it says in the wiki, uh, you can hold Windows Alt or Control Windows. Um, they recommend Windows Alt because it doesn't interfere with some of the key binding on the Windows 11. So press your Windows key and press Alt and you will get this window right here i just back arrowed out of it um so holding this all right and then you can use your arrow keys to drive around all right and then use your left or right arrows to to go deeper in so right arrow to go to this menu and then left or right to set the and then up and down okay now to back out of this menu you want to hit your your back arrow on your keyboard and it takes you back uh, to that okay so that's how you first open this up is Windows alt inside the play window or in the in the game and you will get this uh, window to pop up for you and of course you want to be down in the scenario framework uh, but before we go there we have to get this set up right. So it tells you, and this is what you have to do every time, is that in order for it to work with it, you will need to enable the debug menu. Uh, enable the debug in the debug menu. First, go to the category System Systems Diag and enable it to Basics. Then in System Points, you will need to change it to Fixed Frame, and from here you will tick the box for the scr underscore scenario framework system okay so let's let's do that next 
So what you have to do is, we'll go back to our window here. So open this up, Alt, uh, Windows Alt, and go to Systems. Okay, so up and down moves the to the yellow. And now I'm on Systems. Now I'm going to hit right arrow. And it brings up this window. And it said to go to Systems Diag and set it to Basic. Okay, so there it is. You can see it popped open that. So when you set it to none, that goes away. Um, full, none. So there's three choices. So they want you to set it to basic. So let go of your Windows Alt key, and you'll see that you're in game, and that's up there. Now, okay, well, how do I? It says frame start begin. Okay, and they want you to set it to fixed frame. So let's go there. And what you have to do now to get an to get an arrow or a mouse arrow, you have to go uh, hit tab and go into your go into your uh, loadout, and then you have a mouse. And now you can get up here and hit frame start. And they said fixed frame, correct, I believe. And let's make sure we're right on that. Fixed frame, and here you will tick the box for the scenario framework system. Okay. So, fixed frame, and then you come down and you check that box. Uh, Okay, and it gives you another pop-up. So, I think what we're going to do is AI Vehicle Knowledge System. Let's uncheck that because we don't want it. And let's see. Doesn't say anything about the queue system. So, let's just do what they say. For right now, we're going to check the Scenario Framework System. Okay, and then we can go back, and now we have that set up. All right. You can then close this systems diag and go back to the root of the debug. Unfortunately, you'll have to do this every time relaunch of the game, including play from the workbench mode. After that, it is straightforward. In the root of the debug, there is the scenario framework category that contains the respective debug tools. Some of these tools are interconnected and they have they have both standalone variant and certain tools that can initialize specific instances of said tool that works the same way as a standalone variant. Okay, didn't understand a word of that. I need to go back through that. This was done for easier usage thanks to the hierarchical design of the scenario framework. And in some cases you will have to know the entity name which is usually set in the workbench, but it should be accessible via the regis registered areas tool. Intended usage for the scenario creators to use. Intended usage is for scenario creators to use when playing the scenario from the workbench, and it is not made for a multiplayer environment. Okay, so it says we can turn this off now. So let's see, we want to go to, I think we want to leave, oh no, we can get rid of that, I think, yeah, there you go. So that's what it meant. So I hit alt and then I turned the system diag off so that frames doesn't come up, okay. So that you can turn off, and that leaves that up uh, there. And then you can, I believe, move these around. Yeah. Okay. So you can grab these windows, and you can see these are all laid on top of each other. And you can organize this as you want to 
probably depending on, you know, what you're doing. So that looks like about it. So here's the tasks. The condition inspector, layer task to inspect, plugin inspector, layer name to inspect. So pretty looks pretty straightforward. Now, um, this is about as far as I can get with it right now. Um, I will I will mess around with this and play with it and and learn about it and then I will post some most videos. But here this is, you know, to get you going, this is how you you open uh it up and get it going and as you can see what you can do there's there's a lot of stuff here. It looks like it's pretty pretty powerful. Um so So whatever it was looking at, it just teleported me there. Uh, took me to the Intel task. Very interesting. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I, I got started on it, so uh, we'll post some more up there. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.